everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with our Monday Madness video. And today, we've got Kiss Pops. And we have the cat man right here. Yep, and we have the cat man right there with his tail who keeps trying to push the pops off. Um, so, Ranger, you gotta move. These four Kiss Pops, uh, which are really awesome. I love these Pops. I think it was one of the first um, band sets that we completed. Yes. I think so, too. Yeah. Uh, Spectre has seen Kiss in concert. I yep. have, but I I've seen... Let's... Tell the story. Yes. Kiss uh -huh. and Ace. Yes. Yes. I mean, I've seen Kiss... But Spectre seen um, Kiss, and then he seen Freely's comment open for Alice Cooper. Yes. But these are awesome pops. I love these pops. So let's do what we do on Mondays. Take them out of the box. Take them out of the box. So you guys can get a better look at them. All right. So we got them out of the box. They're pretty heavy. Yep. So each one of them needed their stand to actually stand. Yeah, because they have a lot of hair and high heel boots. Yeah, and they were a little wobbly. So, who do you got first down there? So I got Peter Chris, the Catman, which is pretty cool. It has his necklace, the studs on the belt, and the arms, as well as his little drum set. That's cool. Who else came with the detachable drum set? The police. Oh yeah, the police. Then so, there was one that didn't have a drum set. Uh, that was Def Leppard. Yes. So that's really cool. All right. So then I have here, I have Paul Stanley. And that's pretty cool. And of course, the shoes, you know, the classic Kiss shoes. I remember when Kiss went through a phase where they decided they were going to take their makeup off. Yikes. Yeah. That's kind of what it was like. I remember when... That first happened and everybody was mind blown and it didn't take long till they had the makeup back on. Because the girls loved them like this, but once they took that makeup off, it was a whole other story. Alright, who else you got? Alright, and I have uh, also Ace, which is uh, really cool. The only one without high heels. <laughs> because he wears the moon boots. So he's like the spaceman. I get it, because he's the spaceman. All right, and last but not least, Gene Simmons, the man with the tongue. Um, awesome, awesome pop. It's got his little man bun. Gene had a man bun before people knew what a man bun was. Um, he also has the high heel boots, and it's really hard to tell, but the front has, like, teeth on it. And then, you know, the cutout on the side of his pants. This would be all the studs on his outfit with his the flaps. <laughs> With the flaps coming down. Sorry, the cat had something to say. Um, Do you know why he put his hair in a man bun? Because when he spit fire, he didn't want a chance that he'd catch his hair on fire. That's correct. Because during the yeah. rehearsal, he did catch it on fire. Yeah. So that's why Gene invented the man bun. Because he would do the thing with the fire. And with all that hair and hairspray, yeah, you were waiting for an accident. Michael Jackson caught on fire during a Coke commercial or a Pepsi commercial. I don't remember. Um, but either way, awesome, awesome pops. Um, and then we have lots of other KISS merchandise. We have some KISS uh, bus. We also, you have a pair of KISS vans or Converse or something somewhere. Yeah. Uh, car seat covers that I haven't even opened yet. I mean, so we're KISS fans. We've been KISS fans. I've been a KISS fan since high school. Always amazing. I know we went and we seen them in concert and you grabbed a guitar strap for your guitar. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to show that off? Oh, well, that bag's heavy. I know. Part of the bag. Oh. 
So, looks like the guitar, it's been put away for a while, but this is his Dimebag Daryl guitar. Yeah. Uh, probably needs to be tuned, I'm sure. Uh, I tuned it not that long ago. Oh, okay. And then, so the strap he got is for Tommy from Kiss, and I believe it's signed. Yes, right here. Oh, no, right here. Oh. It's actually signed right there. Has his name on it, but it's actually signed. Yeah, so down it's below. signed right there. You can see his face there, and then up here it has the name on the strap. It's a pretty cool strap. I know you got some guitar picks for Kiss somewhere also. Yeah, I also got so, uh, guitar picks from Alice. Yeah. yeah. But really awesome guitar strap um, that Spectre added to his collection because he wanted a new strap at the time. And he's just never changed it. He's liked that strap and he's kept it on there. But now we did get one more Kiss Pop. And I know you're thinking, what? There's only four members. But I won a giveaway which I know is partially in that box because I cut it open to check. And then I did a trade with The Proper Popper. Now, I know he dropped his video already showing what I sent him. I sent him two pops for this pop. Um, one mostly for his collection, and the other one he gave me a couple choices and said surprise him, so I did. If you want to see what those are, I will link the video down below. But right now, I'm going to grab the box he sent me, and I'm going to show you that fifth kiss pop. Okay, so we got the box. Um, we did win a couple mini mysteries. I got Bob's Big Boy and Yummy, Yummy Mummy. Mummy. We also won a wrestling figure. Uh, which was really cool. Seth Rollins. And then our trade, which was the fifth kiss pop. So. Let me guys show you guys what the fifth kiss pop looks like. It is actually Ace Freely, the spaceman. But it's the older one. Yeah. And you can see the huge difference in detail. I'm gonna take it out of the box. One time, one time only. And show it off. So let me get it out. Alright, he was a little bit of a struggle to get out, um, because I didn't realize, but his box does have a little bit of damage right here. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty bad damage right there on the screen. Well, at least it's just the plastic. Yeah, you and it's off the that. side. It's not in the front, so that's a plus. But this is the original Ace Freely Pop, which, I mean, look at the difference in the yeah, two. Yeah, uh, the, so notable differences is obviously the hair. Yeah, if you You can look. see the waviness. That one's kind of flat. And smooth. Speaking of flat, his guitar is flat. Yes, it's very flat if you look at um, it. And on this one, the guitar is different. My cat is clawing my leg up to death. Um, this one, he's got big, huge moon boots on. Those ones have the little black studs around them. The lightning bolt on the mm -hmm. legs. Um, the chest piece is different. It has more studding. This one, obviously, is much more detailed, even though this one is much more valuable because eyebrows. it's the original one. Yeah. He has eyebrows. Oh, yeah. And this one doesn't. That's funny. So that's the difference between the two. But this one, based on how big his feet are, he doesn't need um, a stand. A stand. So that's pretty awesome. All right. So normally we grab our bucket of trading cards. But we decided that we knew there were KISS trading cards in that bucket. So we each grabbed a package of the KISS trading cards to go ahead and open during this video. Kiss 360. Yeah. I don't care. All right, so let's open these up and see what we got. Kiss 360, and these are from... Did you see a year on there? 2009. Oh, really? Not as old as I thought. It's only, what, 11 years old? Still 2020? Yeah, it's still 2020. It's been 2020 for <laughs> the last six years. Not happy. <laughs> All right. Can get mine open. Do you need some help? All right. So we each got 10 cards, I think? Yeah. So we can show them off together. 
All right, you want to go first? Sure. And I got them putting on makeup. So I'll let you know a little bit about their makeup. It takes as long as you let it take. 35 to 40 minutes they were able to get their whole makeup done. That's pretty quick. Okay, I have five cards. So, five five um, cards. this one is The Fans 2009 and it has Gene Simmons on it. So that's really cool. So I have Unmasked. So that's when they decided not to wear the makeup. And then I have Behind Starry Eyes. This is 110%. Paul Stanley. Got another Behind the Curtain of them getting dressed. Doesn't say how long it took. <laughs> Alright, this is a Behind the Curtain, but it's meet and greet, so it's when you would get to meet like if you're a member of the fan club or something you get a meet and greet so that's what that was and here we have one of Paul saying starstruck all right and this one is welcome to the show dreams come true and it is the full band I also got a welcome to the show oh. And it's the full band, but it's the worldwide phenomenon. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and this was Dreams Come True, and that was Worldwide Phenomenon. And this is Dynasty. It's an album cover from 1979. And the one thing I did notice while we were going through these, some of these have puzzle pieces on the back. Oh, that's cool. Because that's what this is. So when you look at the back of them, not these. Let's see. Not that one. So this might be the only puzzle piece we got. Maybe it's just the album covers. None of mine have it. Okay. So we'll hold on to these and see if we get more puzzle pieces and we can put something together. I don't know. Awesome. But so that's Kiss. Let us know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the differences between the two Ace Freely Pops. Um, which one you think looks cooler? Honestly, even though this one's valued more, that one's much cooler looking. Yeah, because the uh, guitar is not the. Because it's more updated and it's more, you know. But yeah. this is a very cool pop. So again, I'm gonna link um, the trade video from Dub Proper Popper down below. If you want to check out what I sent him to get this one. Other than that, um, we'll see you guys next Monday. Yep. Bye. Bye.